Hi, my name is Thibault Lestan and I am a research software engineer at the University of Oxford. I come from a research background and I have a PhD in computational physics. Following that PhD, I left France to Germany where I worked as a performance engineer at the High Performance Computing Center at the University of Stuttgart. After that, I decided to move to the UK because I thought it was the best place to build some experience as an RSE and also take part in the community. The Oxford RSC group is fairly new and I've been playing a big role in developing our activities. Part of it is taking uh, part in a number of software projects across the University of Oxford, but also hosting training sessions, coordinating software surgeries and uh, linking with various initiatives. Last summer I was awarded a Junior Research Fellowship at Kellogg College, also at Oxford, and uh, this fellowship is allowing me to widen our group's audience and raise the profile of research software engineering in the academic community. It's also a great opportunity to discuss with a wide variety of researchers and, and I'm very interested in better understanding how research software is developed and used across um, different research fields. Particularly my main objective is developing code reviewing in academia. Uh, also in, in the summer I initiated the C Oxford Code Review Network uh, which is an initiative that makes it easy for researchers at Oxford to learn about code reviewing and also participate uh, in code reviews with other researchers across the University of Oxford. That initiative was received with a lot of enthusiasm. It was actually duplicated in, at the University of Manchester and generally I found that when they are explained the concept of a code review, most researchers agree that this is something that they would like to be doing. Now obviously the challenge is to go from that initial enthusiasm to actually making code review a standard practice among researchers. So from there, well, my, my main motivation for applying to an SSI fellowship is to take my work on code review to the next level. As an SSI fellow, there are three things that I would like to do. First, I would like to raise awareness about code reviews, um, what they are about, what are the benefits and how they're best done. Two, I'd like to derive a set of best practices for code reviews in academia and a third I'd like to be teaching code review um, for instance by organizing code review workshops. Code reviews are a very efficient way to improve code readability, reusability and also extendability and these three aspects are just the most vital to the sustainability of research software. Code reviews are also a fantastic way to um, both develop and transfer software engineering skills. And that's something that would be uh, really beneficial for academia as a whole. Well, code reviewing is actually a very common practice in the software industry and also in open source communities, but it's just truly lacking in academia. And so to change that, uh, my plan would be roughly the, the following. First, I'd like to identify and establish contact with a couple of research groups, maybe at Oxford or maybe elsewhere in the UK, groups that would be willing to experiment code review with me as a mentor. And I think being an SSI fellow would be a, of a great help to, to, to do that. The objective at, at this first stage is to explore code reviewing in an academic setting and derive a set of best practices. The benefit of working at the scale of a single research group at first is that participants would know um, would know each other and would be familiar with the research field. The outcome of that first stage is an article that would build upon a study uh, that was released in 2014 by Mayan Peter and Greg Wilson. There would also be uh, a series of blog posts um, potentially on the ESSI blog to just share progress along the way. Building on that experience, uh, I would then move on to uh, organize a couple of code review workshops that would be accessible to the broader research and RSC community. The objective at this uh, stage is, well, it's twofold. First is to train a first generation of researchers and RSCs that could then become advocates for code reviewing in their own communities. The second objective is to explore code review in a slightly different context where participants come from a variety of fields and backgrounds. I think there's a great value in transdisciplinary code reviews, but I expect that the guidelines would have to be adapted to that context, and that would be the main outcome of these workshops. So to summarize, um, 
The objective of my SSI fellowship would be to establish clear guidelines for code reviews in academia, to raise awareness through blog posts, presentations, and an article, and also to organize a couple of code reviews workshop. Code reviews are just all about software sustainability, and therefore I really believe that the SSI is, is a natural advocate for code reviewing in academia, and an SSI fellowship would allow me to act as a champion for code reviews on its behalf.